If you have ever traveled internationally, you've probably encountered airline food, which is mostly hot garbage. People will try to avoid it by packing snacks or ordering vegetarian meals. Much like this lucky flight attendant who discovered a severed snake's head in this mushy green stuff. So you can't blame her for immediately posting this to Twitter, where the world discovered it. Which gave all of these news outlets an excuse to put the words snake and plane in headlines. How could they resist? Airline drama gets clicks. So right now it's Sun Express versus Sandcac. Who's actually to blame here? How did the snake head end up in the mush? Wait a second, snakes don't have eyelids or ears. How did 30 news outlets all get this wrong? Oh, they, they probably didn't care. Or they realized that a snake head sounded better for a headline. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. When I started working on this video, this all seemed much more exciting. I'm questioning myself now. I have nothing else to do, so let's try to figure out exactly what kind of reptile that is, because that that's important to people, right? Let's see if we can just solve this whole mystery with Google Lens. Right off the bat, it's giving me wet specimens and things that are dead, so... I mean, it's, it's on the right track. So let's take a picture of the pattern on the neck, because that seems pretty unique. Oh, it, okay, so it's, it's, it's trying to tell me this might be a turtle. Red-eared slider, painted turtle. I could see how it would think that, because, you know, the, the striping? It's missing the beak, though. I feel like we'd see that in the photo. Definitely not a blobfish. Okay, so that didn't work. One day, I'm sure Google Lens will work a lot like a Pokedex, but, but not today. So what else do we know about this situation? We know that the airline Sun Express travels between Turkey and Germany. And we know that this food is prepared in Turkey. Here's the next step. We figure out what reptiles are in Turkey. Are there any reptiles in Turkey? I don't know. Well, as I suspected, Turkey is full of reptiles, which means I need to click through all of these and look for all the possible matches. And I'm 100% not going to show this entire process because it's way too long and it's kind of boring. But here's what I discovered that I'm sure several of you watching this video already know because you guys are so smart and you read so many books. So I'm thinking it's a Plesk Race Runner. I think, I think that's what this is. What do you guys think? It's got similar banding on the neck, got the same face structure. These are the highest quality photos I could find, by the way. Unfortunately, the lizard in these photos here is kind of, it's wet and it's been in food for a while. Okay, so let's see what a dead Plesk race runner looks like. Uh, here we go. This one isn't a Plesk race runner, but it's from the same family. And now we know what they look like with their eyes closed. And that, this is pretty close. I'm pretty sure I just solved the mystery, which, you know, really wasn't a mystery in the first place and nobody cares except myself. And honestly, now, now that the video has gotten to this point, I don't know if I even care. As it turns out, this isn't even uncommon. This seems to happen a lot. Take a look at what a Gladstone woman found in her bag of green beans, the head of some sort of snake. And to make matters worse, Misty had already served her family some of the beans on a previous night. All right, all of you know-it-alls. Let's see you figure out what kind of crusty snake that is, because I'm not doing that. And when you're done identifying that one, you can figure out what this one is. This woman made a disturbing discovery in a can of green beans. I thought it was a burnt bean, <laughs> and lo and behold, it was a snake head. Okay, I'm done. I'm out of steam. <laughs> here's some footage of Jeremy I never used. What up, YouTube? You miss me? That's right, I'm back. I'm here to teach this guy how to take a retic out of a cage and clean it. This is Anthony. Anthony, ask him how you doing. How you doing? <laughs> how you doing? That's right. All right, so we're gonna be cleaning some retics. We're showing Anthony how to go through and just take care of him. Anthony has a brain and likes to use it. So right here, we've got a retake that wants some food. This is a lovely tiger granite back. So basically, we were talking about this earlier. We use these hooks, kind of tap them, just let them know they're not getting any food. So we can safely come in and grab them and then walk right into Donnie's way. Yeah. So Anthony, if you oh, want yeah. to come behind me and just grab that back end of her there. And we're going to bring her into this holding bin. Woo! Well, what are you doing right now? What's this? A little bit of the McCurley spin. <laughs> okay. But she's actually, she's good. She's settled down. So we're just going to get her into here. Nice, sweetie. And we're going to close that. Thank you, Donnie. So now we can get into the enclosure. We actually need to clean half of it, which is awesome. Makes the job a little easier because she took a big nasty poop. Oh, uh, retics do that, man. They do do that. So yeah. I don't know if Donnie wants to film big nasty no. poops, but cut this out of the video. Cut this out of the video. There's no poop in there. So <laughs> nobody poops. Nobody poops in there. Kevin doesn't even poop. Did you know that? Fun fact. Yep, the slides. So bam. So now we're gonna take this girl out of her holding enclosure, get her back in. And I'm gonna let Anthony do all that work since I worked to get her out. Cool. So let's use the hook to open this up. <clears throat> Bam, and you just want to see where she's at, just tap her in the head just like when we were taking her out. 
Perfect, just so she knows. Exactly. And then you can go, if you're good, you can go right in that first third. Perfect. Good. Take, take the hook. You're good. You're good now. She's, she's good. Bam. Coming on the back end. And you just kind of feed her into that opening there, and you're good to go. Wrong way, finger. <laughs> She'll make you work to get oh, back yeah. inside. Oh, she the other direction. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Almost there. Come on. Hey. There you go. Look at that. Bam. Clean. That was wild. Happy retake. Yep. Go ahead and close it up. Look at that. Benjamin Sloan, Delete, Jessica Muller, Potato Pick Prins. You guys are the best. I gotta turn my camera on, dude. You didn't turn your camera on!